These hearts are hard to miss. Each is part of a sweet scavenger hunt that was launched by this Sunnyvale resident and local artist who asked to be identified only as Winnie. Over the pandemic, Winnie's festive displays have become neighborhood favorites. And for Valentine's Day, she decided to share the love. I had this kind of dream of why don't we get a whole bunch of people to put these Valentine's candy hearts in their yards. So she posted to social media and heard back from 100 people willing to host a heart. It just reminds us, you know, of our neighbors and, and bringing us joy, especially during COVID. It's been wonderful. It's really fun to go on walks and try to find them all around the neighborhood and see where they put them. It's nice to see something out here where kind of brings people together, people come for photo ops, stuff like that. And that's the idea. You snap a pic and post it to Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag Love Sunnyvale. Prizes provided by small businesses will go to winners in three categories, including to the person who finds the most hearts. There are some pretty serious contenders out there right now, including the mayor of Sunnyvale, Larry Klein. He and his dog buddy, they have found I don't know how many by now. Each heart hand delivered and installed by Winnie's friends. Each heart, a reminder that even when the pandemic demands distance, a little love can bring us together. Being able to, you know, look for the hearts around the community and get excited about it, and the kids are excited too. We'll be somewhere in a totally different part of Sunnyvale, and they'll see a heart and say, oh, there's a heart. So we know it's all of the community, all of the city. Beyond the scavenger hunt, I really hope that everyone feels loved during these difficult times. Now, this festive scavenger hunt wraps up on Monday, Valentine's Day, of course. Winnie says she's looking forward to then taking on St. Patty's Day in Sunnyvale. I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.